Welcome to the Black Educated Tea Podcast. I'm your host, Makita Marie, and today's topic is living a creative life. But, you know, as always, before we get into the tea, let's get into this tea. So I am actually drinking the goddess tea again. Um, you know, I am really big on being a goddess that I am. <laughs> uh, you know, drinking goddess tea actually helps you bring out your creativity you know, being just creative overall. So I'm drinking a goddess tea and I've drunk it, you know, a couple of times before in episodes. And so it definitely has uh, mother work in it, it has elderberry. Um, it has a lot of dandelion and parsley. It has a lot of different components in it. Um, I got, it's, I guess I'm a tea drinker, so it's okay for me, but it's, it's a bitter tea because of all the different teas that's in it. But the benefits definitely outweigh the bitterness. But, you know, you can add your honey or agave to it. I don't add anything to it because I want to ingest all of it. So I am drinking a goddess tea. I highly recommend you check it out through Oasis Vibe. And that is myoasisvibes.com. And you're really going to love this tea. Because you're going to see so many improvements in your skin and your sleep and your overall health. And, you know, for women... It is also going to help for your cycles and just so many different things as well. So I suggest you go try that goddess tea. You're going to love it. So let's get into this topic. So this episode is going to be really brief. Um, I don't want to spend too much time really focused on it. But um, I want to talk about creativity. And what ways do you, you know, make your life exciting or creative? Um, I used to think of myself as kind of a boring, laid-back person. Because I would do the same things, you know, repetitive. I'm really a repetitive person, so I would do the same things over and over again. And so I started to change up some things. And for me, it was just as simple as changing up my routine, uh, what time I wake up in the morning. <laughs> I know that sounds so boring. <laughs> it does, when I even say it. Um, but I just started to change different things about myself because I wanted to start sparking that create creative side about me we all have something that's creative and unique about us and sometimes we haven't tapped into it we haven't realized what's so creative about us or how to to dig deep into finding out um what's what you know creative things we're surrounded by or we can do for me i've always knew certain tactics or certain things about me was creative uh, and for me, it was definitely decorating because I, I always had an eye. I always had a niche for putting colors together, decorating things. So one side of me, I'm, when it comes to being creative, I'm, I'm a really good decorator. Um, I'm also, I have a lot of different hobbies that I love to do as well. I love to dance. I love to sing. Like I said, I love to skate. I love to ride bikes. Um... You know, because a lot of times when we think of cre you know, being creative, we think of arts. So we think of painting, sculpting, things like that. Yeah, art never really just caught on for me. It just did not. Um, my son can draw better than me. Um, and I could go take skills, you know, because you can always go take, you know, art skills or drawing skills. So I could always go do these things. It just never intrigued me like that. Um, so, but maybe that's something I'll look into later, going to get some, some drawing lessons and some skills and, and I can start out by having my son just teach me some things because <laughs> he's a really good artist, my daughter as well. They could actually teach me some things, so I could definitely learn from them, but, you know, just drawing and, and I'm artistic in, in other ways, not when it comes to drawing or painting and sculpting, things like that. So, but we all have artistic, creative abilities about ourselves and, um, so I knew very early on that I had creative visions and things about myself. I didn't really start to develop them until I became an adult and as I got older. You know, because I started tapping more into my creative um, abilities. And I think one is now, and I still tell myself that I don't have this creative uh, ability. And that's talking to people, making people feel really open and welcoming people. Um... I told myself for years and years that I'm really shy. I'm not really outgoing. And the fact that I kept telling myself these things, I started to believe it. 
But as I got older and I started tapping more into talking and, and interacting and doing the podcast, I started to realize, like, I'm really not as shy and as quiet um, as I thought I was. I guess I'm just choosy on who I talk to, you know. So there's a big difference in just being quiet and shy, shy and just being choosing who you talk to. I think for me, it's just more of being choosing who I talk to, choosy with my words and... I'm one of those people when I do talk and when I do have something to say, it's usually meaningful. It usually has a lot of uh, context to it because I don't say a lot. But when I do, I'm going to say a lot at one point and it's going to be really good. You know, so that's what I realized about me. Because some people can talk for hours and hours and hours and they're not saying anything. For me, I can talk for 5, 10, 15 minutes. But I've said so much during that time that you can't do nothing but take notice. So that's another one of my creative uh, abilities. I realize it's actually just talking, communicating, making people feel welcoming. That's another creative ability that I have. And before we even move further with this topic... You know, I forgot to do an affirmation. Oh my God, yeah. So our affirmation, and I, I, these affirmations, you know, when I say they are so on point again, because I never go intentionally looking for an affirmation. I just go for the first one. And they always, 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 always fit whatever topic I'm talking about. So this affirmation is, I am, am creating a happy and healthy future. And on the back of it is, I am living an abundant life. So this, this side itself, I am creating a happy and healthy future. Creating. We're talking about creating. We're talking about creativity. You know, because creating is all about creativity. So what are you creating? Now, going into the next year, what are some things that you're creating? Um, are you creating just a whole new you? Because I am really fascinated with that. Um, and I think I want to give that a try. You know, I can't change everything about me. But I want to, like the external part of me, you know, I'm thinking about, you know, maybe just growing my hair out very long or cutting it really short, dyeing it a different color. Um, you know, dropping some more weight. Um, even changing, you know, my, my style, how I dress. You know, I'm really just thinking about changing some things externally. You know, having a whole new outlook. Because, you know, a lot of times, especially for us women, when we change our hair, we change certain things about ourselves. You know, people are like, oh, she changing everything. You know, when you go cut the hair and you dye it or whatever you do, they're like, okay, you know, she cutting the hair, she cutting some other stuff off as well. She's making some changes. <laughs> so, but... Externally, I definitely want to, you know, change some things about my look and um, things of that sort. Because I know when I change myself externally, it's also going to change me internally. Uh, but I don't want to make really drastic change. Just, you know, just some minor changes just to see. Um, because I'm really focused on creating a lot of more sides of me. I mean, I am who I am. I'm the core of my being. But I am really interested in, in, in highly um what's the word I'm really looking forward to creating a new me and when I say creating a new me that's you know still tapping into my creative abilities and then also finding out what other creative abilities that I have you know you never know how creative you are until you really start dipping and, and dabbing into different things you know um and I found out that this year alone, um, from just making products and, you know, doing different conferences and speaking and, you know, being keynote speakers and things like that, I would have never thought that I would be the person that's speaking in front of an audience and, you know, people actually tuning in and listen to what I have to say. I could have never imagined that because I had not tapped into their creative ability until recently. So I'm starting to tap into a lot of creative abilities that I have. And I'm going to continue to get out of my comfort zone and just try different things and see what other creative abilities I have as well. Um, because we have them. We have them. We have so many of them. But you don't really know all of your creative abilities until you start trying different things. You know, because some we, we naturally know. 
some of them we naturally know but some of them we don't know until you start venturing out and trying new adventures and new activities and you're like man i'm really good at this or i really enjoy this i would never thought i would love axe throwing or mountain climbing or hiking you know some of these things you would never think they were part of your creative abilities and you're really good at it because you've never tried it so i'm you know going to create a list of different things and so I could just continue to tap into my creative abilities, you know, especially going into 2023 because I know these creative abilities are going to help my business, it's going to help the podcast, it's going to help, you know, so many different other avenues and, and things in my life uh, because I can then take those creative abilities and put them in different ways that's going to benefit me. So I would just love to hear what are some of your creative abilities and, you know, what are some of the things you're doing to create a new outlook on life, create a new you, um, create or just continue to establish those creative abilities, you know, because creating is all about, you know, creativity. They're all one in one, you know, when you when you look at the word itself, create, creating, creative, you know, it's all the same word, you're creating, you're blooming, you're, you're establishing something. And I would just love to, to know and hear, you know, what are some things you're doing in your life to create a new you, a new outlook, um, new prospects as well. And you know, as always, this is the Black Educated Tea Podcast.